Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. And today I'm excited to show you, hands down, the best looking Jeep Gladiator we have ever had on our lot. This is a 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave in hydro blue pearl coat. This vehicle has the award-winning 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor. It has the eight-speed automatic transmission, 285 horsepower. It's gonna get you 22 miles per gallon on the highway, 17 city, and 19 miles per gallon overall. But the real thing of this vehicle is that it is desert rated. It is a Mojave special edition designed for off-roading in the desert. And um, it has a bunch of different stuff that goes along with it to allow you to do that. And that's what gives it its desert rated badge. And we'll go through everything uh, that, well, I'll try to hit everything as best I can in the short video that we have here. But first off, we'll just check out the styling. You get the Mojave with the orange shadow um, outlines there, the desert rated badge. And that same orange Jeep logo is granite crystal and orange outlined as well. Starting off, the first uh, off-road thing you'll notice is that it does have Falcon Wild Peak AT tires. These are ATE, or I'm sorry, AT3Ws, and they are LT28570 R17s. Comes with the special 17-inch painted and polished aluminum rims, and you even get like the sidewall on the side or the tread pattern on the side of the tires. So if you lower the air pressure, you get a little bit of tread there as well. It's definitely a tread that is designed for off-roading in the desert. Um, you also get the two and a half inch aluminum bypass internal bypass shocks on here, which help dissipate heat when you're going over all the bumps and rocks in a desert at high speeds. It also has the jounce bumpers and you have shocks in there as well and you also get that silver skid plate on the front. This vehicle has 11.6 inches of overall ground clearance which is actually a half inch higher than the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. The one thing that I like that they did to this one is that they put the LED lighting group on here so when you are off-roading in the desert you can definitely get the best visibility at night. You also have the orange tow hooks, those are powder coated. And the LED fog lamps as well. You get the air intake up high on the hood which helps keep sand and dust out of the air intake. Really like the look on this particular Gladiator. You also get the Jeep climbing up the side, the sandals and the plastic shroud there. Also on the Gladiator you get these rock rails which once again when you're off-roading in the desert you don't want to damage the body if you hit a hard rock on there so that'll protect the body of the vehicle. You can take the doors off, you can take the top off, just like any other Wrangler. And uh, we'll check out the original window sticker here so that you can get an idea of all the stuff that comes with it. So here are all the standard equipment. So of course you get the 3.6 with the 8-speed. Um, you do get Jeep Wave membership uh, with this vehicle, but you get the Fox 2.5 inch performance internal bypass shocks. Those are aluminum. Um, and you get the hydro jounce bumpers, the true lock rear axle, cab rock rails, which I just showed you, uh, the front and rear 44 uh, Dana axles. You also get the 410 axle ratio, and that's uh, better than the Rubicon so that when you're in four wheel drive low, you can drive this up to 50 miles per hour. The Rubicon, you can only go up to 30. You get the command track with the part-time four-wheel drive system. You get the fuel tank skid plate, the transfer skid plate, the front bumper skid plate, um, terrain-specific off-road plus mode, which will automatically lock your rear diff. It'll also um, change your shift points and throttle um, to be more for off-roading in the desert at high speeds. 
and then um, you also have and that so then these are your optional equipment so the 245 is for the hydro blue the leather trim seats are 1595 you get the trailer tow package with the heavy duty engine cooling um, and this can tow up to 6,000 pounds and it has a 1200 pound um, payload capacity as well you get the cold weather group with the heated seats remote start and heated steering wheel premium LED lighting group 8.4 radio and premium audio group which gives you the factory navigate navigation the off-road pages which are really cool I'll show you the Alpine premium sound Sirius Guardian for a year five-year Sirius XM travel link and five-year Sirius traffic plus subscription um, you get the Jeep safety group which uh, gives you the backup parking sensors and blind spot monitoring eight-speed automatic transmission remote keyless entry the enter and go system the color match hard top is a 23 $95 option. The satin black grill is $195. And the wireless Bluetooth speaker is um, $295. The color match fender flares are $695. And you get those special rims, which are $995. Total MSRP is $59,780. If you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of your screen, is a link to our website. Check that out. Five year 60 powertrain, three year 36 bumper to bumper. There are your miles per gallon and your overall safety ratings. Four and five stars, driver and pas passenger, front crash test rating. We'll get back to the interior in just a little bit. I do want to check out the rear shocks, which are definitely heavy duty. And just everything on this vehicle is heavy duty. The, you know, the control arms and everything are very thick. Um, and then you get all those skid plates. Also, on, by the engine and transmission mounts, it's reinforced um, to handle you know, the off-road jumps and bumps that come with off-roading in the desert. You also get a full-size spare tire that matches. You get that sway bar, which I read is a little bit thicker than the normal sway bars that come on the gladiators. As we come around to the back, notice you do get the LED bed lighting, you get those orange tow hooks, full towing package, receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. Uh, the tailgate is a shock down assist tailgate, so it's never gonna slam down on you. That's your case for your front hard top pieces. We have the LED bed lighting back here as well. And if you look up there, uh, you got those little dots in the front. That's for your dirt bike tire. So um, if you take your bikes with you, you got a spot to put those. You can see it says Jeep Performance LED on the back there. Color match fender flares, color match hard top. On the door hinges it says T50 so you know which Torx wrench to use. Heated mirrors blind spot monitoring inside you get the black leather interior with the orange stitching the Mojave stitched into the backrest auto headlamps power locks and power mirrors as we hop inside here I'm going to turn the ignition on and check out the graphics and animation that you get on that center console instrument cluster there. Digital speedometer, compass display. Um, you can change those corners to read miles per gallon, miles to empty, whatever you'd like. You get the heated leather wrap steering wheel with the orange stitching, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. Like I said before, this has the 8.4 with the factory navigation system. It also has AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You do have your climate controls, which you can control from here. You also have your heated seats and heated steering wheel buttons, and you can check out your backup camera here. And that backup camera is HD, so um, very easy to hook up to a trailer or a boat or whatever you're hooking up to. Those grid lines are dynamic too, meaning that they're gonna turn as you turn that steering wheel, and that that center line goes right up with your receiver hitch. And when you get right by where you wanna hook up to, 
You can even magnify it right over the receiver hitch so you can see exactly what you're hooking up to and get it right the first time, every time. Um, and then you have your apps here. So you have your projection manager where you can project your cell phone through Android Auto or Google, Pla I'm sorry, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay um, and project your cell phone to the screen. So if you have navigation, a different navigation system you like, such as Waze or Google Maps, you can project it to the screen. And that's pretty cool. And use it that way. Also, it works for music and media and stuff like that. So we actually did a demo on Android Auto if you want to check that out in the upper right-hand part of the screen. And then you get the off-road pages, which are really cool. They do take a second uh, to load here. It says... Um, Anyways, you get the drivetrain and pitch and roll, which is what it's on right now. So you can see we're nice and flat in our picture studio. You have your latitude, longitude, your altitude there. We're 877 feet. Looks like we're actually dropping. Nope, we're raising now. For some reason in the picture studio here, it, it likes to raise and lower, even when we're not moving. You have your ex accessory gauge. I think you got to be moving for it to work properly. You got your coolant temp, oil temp, battery voltage, trans temp, and oil pressure. You also get your drivetrain right here. You get your steering angle so you can see as I turn the wheel left it gets three degrees and five degrees the other way and the wheels actually turn up there too. You got your transfer case if you're in too high, four high, or four low. And then you have your rear axle locker and um, you can see it's unlocked right now. So a lot of cool stuff you can do with this radio. Um, including all the Sirius Guardian and Traffic and Travel Link Plus that you get with it. Um, really cool radio. Down here you have your more tactile climate controls and audio controls, your start-stop capability, stability control, select speed crawl control. And uh, down here you have your AUGS USB and USB-C jack. And then down here is your uh, specific Mojave off-road stuff. So you have your rear axle locker, and then you have your off-road mode plus, which changes your shift points, changes the throttle control, also will automatically lock your rear diff, or your rear axle, I should say, um, when you're in that off-road plus mode. There's your 4x4 shifter. You get the little gladiator on the handle there. Also notice you still get the orange stitching on the center shifter there. You have your keyless entry with your remote start. The... Uh, switchblade style key it says jeep on it it's a really chunky key you always know which key you have in your pocket get the granite crystal dash painted and the orange vent outline you also have the orange stitching on the dash and uh up here you have your sos and assist buttons your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems you get that crushed eggshell finish looking front hard top pieces the quick disconnects We'll take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll do a final walk around with all the lights on and everything. You can see just how bright those uh, LED bed lighting lights are. Back seats, lots of room back here. Um, latch child safety system. You do get a 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in, two USBs, two more USB-Cs. And then you get the manual sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. These headrests, they now fold down so you can see when there's nobody sitting back here. You get the locking um, backrest that locks with the ignition key. And then you can store stuff back there. When you have the top off, you can kind of keep things a little bit secure. Underneath the seat, there is more storage. You get a little cubby here. And then you have a spot for your door hinge, roof, and windshield bolts factory floor mats back here as well get the grab handles right there and then you do get the child safety locks on the back bed rail covers on all the gladiators and uh, we'll do one more final walk around here and I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully learned a little bit about the gladiator and the Mojave package in particular um, I still think this is the best looking gladiator we've ever had. And if I wanted to go off-road desert racing, this would probably be one of my first choices. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, 
gladiators, you name it, we got to go to our website, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more Mojave videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website on the bottom link to this vehicle on our website, click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering this really good looking 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave in Hydro Blue Pearl Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video.